Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to streamline and automate the process of social media content creation using Notion. So guys, if you are someone who spends a significant amount of time in posting and scheduling the social media posts on different social media platforms. So this video is for you and here I'm going to walk you through the step by step process of how to auto schedule and post social media content on different social media platforms using notions database directly. So guys, with the help of this automation, you can save your time and focus on creating high quality content rather than switching to applications and posting the content. So without further ado, let's get started. To set up this automation guys, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pabli. And I have pasted the same link in the description. So guys, you can sign up for free from this link and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations. Okay, so you can just sign up right now from the given link. After that, you have to sign in and select Pabli Connect product and you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect like this. Here is the dashboard. Let me show you. And from here, guys, you have to click on this create workflow button to set up uh, your workflow. So just click here and here you can give a name to your workflow as well. So I am giving the name as post uh, on social media from notion. Okay, so you can give any name after that click on create button. And you can see your workflow page started loading up here. And on this page, guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, we can set up this automation. So trigger is that event which kickstarts this workflow. And the action would be the automated consequence or the response of the trigger. So here in this trigger, guys, it will ask to choose your application. So here you have to choose that application in which the trigger event is occurring. So in our use case, guys, we have maintained our database in which we have added the details of the content of the social media posts in Notion. So here you can see this is my Notion's database named as social media calendar. And here I am adding the name of the type of the post and the status and the date on which we want to post this uh, content. Here you can see the platforms on which we want to post and the content that we want to post. All the things are here. Right now, guys, uh, what I want to do here is I'm going to uh, connect notion here in this trigger. And whenever I'm going to check the status or change the status of any post as ready, then I want to trigger this workflow and this details will be captured in in the response section of our workflow and it will move forward. Okay, so here you can see we have uh, these statuses. Let us first connect with notion. I'm going to select notion here. And the trigger event guys will be update database item. Okay, so we have added the rough records here. And whenever the Whenever any post is fully completed, we are going to change the status as ready. We are going to select ready in the status section and that is going to trigger the workflow. So <coughs> here guys, you just have to click on connect button and from here select add new connection, then click on connect with notion. All right. And from this window, guys, you have to select your pages click on select pages and from here you can select that database or page from where you want to fetch the data. So here you can see guys we have selected all the pages social media calendar is our page and it is ticked. Now click on allow access and we will be connected with notions database. Alright, so authorization is successful and we got this field here right now database ID. So from here you have you can select the database from where you want to capture the details. And after that, you can click on save and send test request button and the most recent update will be captured here in the response section. So let us uh, do a small update here. Here you can see guys, uh, we have this post, okay, which I want to share on Twitter. Okay. 
and here I'm going to change the status of this post from planning I'm going to click on I'm going to cross this planning and I'm going to click on ready and here you can see the status is ready here so this is the most latest update that we have done here now let me click on save and send test request button and see if the details got captured of the same post here you can see guys it started showing the status name as ready and the colors color is green green the content is here this is the same content you can see we had here it got captured and when you scroll down a bit more you will see the platform's name where you want to share is twitter you can see it here twitter okay and the, uh, the the title the type of the post is we are hiring you can see we are hiring right and you can see all other details this is the date on which we want to post you can see it also here november 9 okay so actually it is an old date let me change the date here let me change the date to the latest date okay 20 of February 20 of February let me capture the data of this post again and this date will be updated as well now you can see the date is updated 20 of February so whenever you are going to update this the data is will be captured here that is going to trigger the workflow right and after after getting the data here we want to create a post on different social media platforms so guys to create post on different social media platforms according to the uh, label that we got here you can see here we have received this label in which uh, this uh, platform select label platform select name label in which you can see where we want to post this thing so it is showing twitter so according to this label we want to share the data on relevant or corresponding social media platforms as the data we have captured here so guys for that we need to create the conditional paths the so first path we are going to create is for twitter then for facebook then for linkedin okay so to create paths for different social media platforms we are going to use a feature of public connect which is called router so router is going to create different routes or conditional paths for doing different things according to different conditions and what is what are the condition condition is the name should be uh, twitter facebook or linkedin and the status should be ready then only we want to create a post when the status is showing ready and uh, from here we are going to see where we want to create a post so here guys we have router click on router and here it will give you the routes like this so by clicking on set filter and action steps you can create a route so first of all let me rename this route and so that you can know clearly which route is for which social media platform this route is for twitter so i'm typing twitter here all right then click on update then click on here you can see the uh, route got renamed now click on set filter and action steps and here it, it will automatically show you this filter so with the help of this filter you can apply a condition or you can filter out some particular data and you can move forward here you can see we want that uh, whenever this status label show you ready then only we want to create a post for that to happen just click here on this set filter and action steps and here it is asking to select the label so when you click here you will see the previous step or the trigger here in the drop down only and when you click on it you can find all the data here only so from here select this status name label okay then make the filter type equals to and then put the value here as ready all right and this is first condition other condition is uh, this uh, this route is for twitter so um, uh, we want to create a post on twitter so just click here on this plus icon to apply another condition so by clicking on this or condition button you can apply or logic condition and by clicking on this plus icon you can apply and logic condition and logic means 
both of the things needs to be true then only the data will be forwarded so click here on this plus icon and then click here again and from this trigger map the, uh, that label in which you can see the platform's name so here you can see the platform name select it and put the value here as twitter all right these are the two condition that needs to be true for this route then click on save and send test request so guys here you can see it is showing the condition is false why it is showing false let us check here you can see guys in this uh, okay so here you can see in this platform select label uh, with twitter it is also showing a little bird which is a sign of twitter okay that's why it is showing the condition is false so what you can do you can select the filter type here and select contains option so this means uh, when the la platform uh, name label contains twitter word then the condition will be true and it will be uh, it will start continuing okay so click on save and send test request here you can see the condition is true right now when the condition is true we want we want to create a post on twitter for that to happen and one thing more guys we want to schedule these posts as well we do not want to uh, immediately create a post on twitter we want to check the date as well uh, on, on which wait on which date we want to create that post for that to happen we are going to apply a delay here so you can see we have received the details we have applied the conditions now it is time to create a post so when we want to create a post on a particular date in future so here i am going to click on this plus icon and we are going to use a feature of public connect which is called delay and delay is going to halt this workflow till that date on which we want to create the post actually okay so here it is asking how much delay you want to put in the workflow so i'm going to select delay until option and here we are going to place the date on which we want to create a post so till that till that date this workflow is going to wait and as the date arrives it is going to work and create a post for you and here you have to uh, fill the date in this format you can see in the help text yymmdd then hours minutes and seconds but right now uh, when you click here and from this notion step you can see the date you have received in the trigger and you will see the date in this format it is yymmdd uh, format but uh, this is not the same format as we want here so we are going to convert the date we are going to change the format of the date for that what you can do just click here on this plus icon in between the steps and another action step will open up from here you can search for a feature of public and it is called date time formatter so with the help of date time formatter you can change the format of the date that you have received so in the action event select uh, format date with time zone option then click on connect button and then it will ask uh, the uh, ask for the date of which you want to change the format of so you just have to click here and from this notion step map the date that you have received like this then you have then it is asking from which format you have received the date so the format we have received here is this yy mmdd okay yy mmdd is here right then it is asking to which format you want to change so i want to change in this format okay select this option as we have required this only here okay you can see and we have selected the same now you have to select the time zone my time zone is asia kolkata you have to select yours so from this time zone we have received the date and i want to keep the time zone as it is so i'm going to select this time zone again now click on save and send test request button and this is the result we got now we can map this date here but right now you can see it is not showing the previous steps this means now we have to select delay again then select delay until then click here and from the last step map the date okay then click on save and send test request button and it will show you this message 
that this workflow is delayed until this date. And when this date arrives, this is this should create a post on Twitter. For that to happen, just click here on this plus icon. And here we are going to connect with Twitter. Search Twitter here. All right, then select the action event as create tweet. Then click on connect. From here, select add new connection. Then click on connect with Twitter. And from here, you have to click on authorize application to connect Pabli connect with Twitter account. Okay. So it might bring you to the login window as well, but I have already logged in in my Twitter account. So it just got uh, uh, showing us the authorize button and we are connected. And here it is asking for the message that you want to share on Twitter. So just click here and from this first tab, map the content that you have received from Notion. Then you can check your connection with Twitter by clicking on save and send test request button and a new post will be created on your Twitter handle. So guys, this is my Twitter profile. Okay. And here, let me click on save and send test request button. And this is the response we have received here. Let me show you uh, my Twitter handle now. Let me refresh this profile section. And here you can see guys, we got a new tweet created showing this pointillism. And this is the same post that we have added here. You can see pointillism. Okay. So that's how you can create a post automatically in Twitter. Similarly, you can create routes for Facebook and LinkedIn as well. For that to happen, you do not have to create the routes from scratch. What you can do, you can clone the same route that you have just created. For that to happen, just click on this three dots. And here you will find this clone button, click on clone, then click on clone one more time. And this same route will be created one more time like this. You can see this is the cloned route. You have to do it one more time for, uh, so let's say this uh, route is for Facebook. Now let me clone it one more time for creating the route for LinkedIn as well. So if we got three routes now, now let me just delete this extra route. Okay. Now let me rename these two routes also. This route is for Facebook. All right, update. And this route is for LinkedIn. All right, so we need to change a few thing in these two routes uh, as well. So click on the second route for Facebook. Click, click on set filter and action steps. And here in filter, now in place of this Twitter, you need to write down Facebook. Facebook with proper branding, okay. Then click on save, okay. And here you have to change one, one more thing. You have to change the action step here in place of Twitter. Now you have to select Facebook pages. Then select the action event as create page post. Then click on connect. From here, select add new connection, then click on Facebook, connect with Facebook pages. <clears throat> From here, you have to pro provide the access, just click on continue on your name and you can see the authorization is successful. And we are connected with Facebook. And now it is asking to select the pages name where you want to create posts. So I'm going to select the pages name. The name of my page is this Pabli Tech. Pabli Tech, you can search for it. Here it is, okay. Here it is asking for the message that you want to post. So I'm going to map the message from Notion trigger. Okay, now you can check your connection with Facebook by clicking on save and send test request. Okay, so this is my Facebook page. And we have received this ID here, a post ID is created. Let's check here. Let me refresh the page. And now the same post is here on Facebook as well. Okay. So this is how it is going to work guys. And now you can close this and same you have to do for LinkedIn as well. You just have to change the filter and the action step. So the, in the filter, you have to change in place of Twitter, you have to put linked linked in with the I capital. Okay, save. 
right then come here and change twitter to linkedin then you have to select the action event as share simple text then click on connect from here select add new connection then click on connect with linkedin from here you have to provide your credentials then sign in and you will be connected with linkedin right like this then map the content from the notion step like this and then you have to select the visibility as connections or public as you want then you can check the connection by clicking on save and send test request button and the same post will be created on linkedin as well so right now i'm just clicking on save you can check it okay so that's how we can create this automation and you have to set up this automation only once guys after that you don't have to do it uh, after you don't have to post the content manually <clears throat> After that, you just have to maintain this database and as you are going to update this database and click the status as ready, these posts on the dates will be created automatically. You don't have to do it manually. And guys, you can use this workflow as well as I'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description. You can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.